Today, he set records. He set massive records on this platform. The likes that we are going to see the reverberations of for years to come. It is going to have the same impact on this platform that Ninja had on this platform when he uh, achieved his uh, his peak here. Uh, the graph, uh, the graph. G, 2.4 million viewers on Twitch while unveiling his Fortnite skin. Let me explain to you how huge that actually is. The previous record for an individual stream, uh, I believe, for, for uh, was a world's event of 1.3 million. Now, individual streamers themselves, uh, I believe the record on that was something like 800,000. I don't have the exact numbers here. We could probably find it. Uh, but even bigger than that, even bigger than that, the all-time streaming record for an entire category. So you go to twitch.tv, and you go to uh, browse, and you click on, and you see, okay, Rust, 728,000 uh, viewers. What do you think the entire record for an entire category was? That means all streamers' viewership combined. Here's what it was. Here's what it was. Fortnite, the device event, June 15th, so it was last year in the middle of the pandemic, everybody's staying home, 2.33 million viewers watched. He, and that's the entire category. That's Ninja streaming. That's Tim the Tapman streaming. That's uh, uh, June, so uh, that's Dr. Disrespect streaming. <laughs> he was here. That's Dr. Lupo streaming. That That's every single, That's that's every... Every person on the platform, that is their total viewership for the entire category. Cannot understate how huge that number it uh, uh, it is, how, how huge that number is, and how actually important that is to the streaming world itself. Rising tides raise all ships. And that is essentially what is happening here. Uh, Gref has managed to drive a new kind of awareness to this platform. Uh, when, when Ninja had his success... Every single media outlet was talking about it. They were talking about it nonstop for weeks. Oh, well, he had this many viewers. He had 800,000 or 600,000 people watching. He was playing with Ninja, and he makes $500,000 a month, and he was doing interviews, and he was, he was on things. And it drove so much attention to the platform that uh, it, it increased all kinds of different uh, new, new streamers, all kinds of new uh, people uh, who watched it. It drove awareness of the platform. We haven't had that. In a while, we haven't had a, a, a very significant growth driver, a, a big viewership number on this platform that has been out there to, to drive that kind of media attention. You're going to have these initial ones that kind of pick them up, the, the ones that are already in the gaming industry, The Verge, Kotaku, PC Gamer, Dexerto, Comic Book. Uh, and that's great. That's, that's a good start. But you're going to see... Uh, it continue to grow. You're going to start seeing, you know, the Reuters might ta tackle it a little bit. You'll see Forbes ta talk about it. You'll see all these kind of different sites going, wow, Twitch just had more than the top two networks in the United States watching one person. One person. And we need those. Those are so key for this platform. They're so key for this platform. If you take a look back at YouTube, one of the reasons why YouTube got successful is because you had uh, a video start to hit a million views. You had people that started to have, you had your first like uh, uh, a million subscriber channels. Those kind of stories where it crosses over into the general uh, consciousness are huge. They're massive. They do so much for a platform, uh, but you, you can't have a growing platform without them. And so I've been saying it for a while. I've been saying it for a while. We are going to start to see more people who are going to get mainstream attention. I don't know who it was. I didn't think that it would be Ninja. I don't think that it'll be Tim the Tatman. It's not going to be kind of any of the established characters in this platform. It's going to be the ones that people, that, that, that kind of come fast out of nowhere. So the future is all about microtransaction reveals in freemium games? Yes. <laughs> I mean, it's not. It's not. Nobody cares about, about his skin. I'm sorry to say. That's, that's, that's an awful thing to say because it's such a big emotional event. It, 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 is, a big, uh, uh, it is a big event. For Twitch. It's a big event for Twitch. Um, that's why I was there. I don't care about his stupid skin. I don't give a damn what dance he does. I don't care if it's, ooh, he's making 
do it. I don't care about any of that. That doesn't bother me. That that that's gonna have no long term significance. Nobody is ever going to remember what what his skin looked like in ten years. But in ten years, everybody will know what Twitch is because of events like this. It's probably going to inspire a bunch of new Spanish streamers. It'll probably inspire a whole bunch of 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 uh, of, of of new uh, uh, Spanish viewers and English viewers and people going. I heard about this uh, this record. It's bigger than any of the the media in in the United States. What happened with this one guy who was streaming the the graph? What what is that? And then kid will go, oh, Dad, it's it's not it's not the graph. It's it's graph, and, and he plays Fortnite, and he's on Twitch, and Twitch is this cool platform you can watch anything live. And then the dad will go check out the platform, and the platform goes, Oh, I can watch NFL football in here. Cool. All right, I'll watch that. Let's look at some older videos here. Oldest. Eight years ago. So yeah, he, he he has been around a long time. Look at that. See, so if that's not inspirational, I don't know what is, by the way. I don't know what is. To go from, from being this, I mean, even some of his older videos, 17 gay views, and th these are juiced views, by the way. These are views that people have uh, gone back and watched his old content. Uh, let's go his newest stuff. To where he is now with great uh, uh, thumbnails. Uh, creating hyper-engaging content. Anytime you kind of see those stories of people that just go from absolute garbage and then the, the over... <laughs> I shouldn't be calling them garbage. But like the content back then in 2012, garbage. Terrible. There were established streamers... Or sorry, uh, established YouTubers back in 2012 who were creating great content. It, it was fantastic content back in 2012. Yet here he is. I'm still going to put out my own content. Still going to put out my own content. So it doesn't... Uh, the, the, the inspiration that I get from these kind of stories is is pretty significant. I feel like as long as you are constantly working to improve what you do, you're going to get somewhere with it. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click like, click subscribe up there, and then watch this video. What else you got to do? You're on YouTube anyways. You might as well watch something else. It's right there.